Hi everyone, so I know we've talked a lot about the third gen Hemis. Today I'm gonna to talk about the newer one. So we've taken this VVT Hemi core apart. We're talking 09 to 2014, and they had a few different variations, but they're gonna be found in pretty much your whole Dodge truck lineup, um, Grand Cherokees, Durangos, Chrysler 300s, etc. So first thing and most important thing that's different about these units is that Dodge implemented VVT. So VVT means variable valve timing. And what this does is it alters the timing of the valve lift event so that the engine can produce better gas mileage, fuel economy, performance, etc. So the valve lift event is defined by one of three things. So the first thing is going to be your actual valve duration, how long the valve is open for. Second thing is going to be your valve lift, which is how far the valve opens. And the third thing is going to be your valve timing, which is when your valve is open. So this particular core, we actually had a really hard time getting the cam out of it because it's fun A cam bearing. As you can see, the inside is torn up. This thing is all bent apart. And essentially what happens when you seize a bearing is the camshaft is gonna stop turning and that is gonna throw off pretty much everything in the engine, especially your timing. We all know that Hemi's are interference engines. So that means when your timing is off, your valves and your pistons are not timed properly, which means they are going to eventually collide. So I'm gonna use a light to show you what it looks like from the inside when the valve is stuck open. See all that light coming through? These should be flush with the unit. You shouldn't see any of that light coming through at all. So each one of those valves that is stuck open is going to have piston collision. So here's the mark where that valve was beginning to hit the piston. And then the other thing to note is that your timing chain on this is still trying to spin. So if we pull out our phaser, we can actually see marks on where that pin started to rub against that as well. And last but not least, my favorite thing to look at is the cam. Here's where that bearing was. And then if you can see it, this lobe is so worn, you can actually see part of that sticking up. And that is the corresponding lifter that absolutely ate it up. And there are some other pieces of the cam. You can see that that lifter and this lobe right here are starting to wear a little bit. Also, important thing to note that the tensioners and the guides look pretty much brand spanking new. So my guess is that these people heard a noise and they thought that it was the timing slap that you typically hear from some Hemis and tried to replace these, not knowing that there was a bearing that was seizing. This type of damage is also going to cause your push rods to bend. So this thing was definitely experiencing problems all over the place. The other thing I wanted to, you to take a look at is that wear that's in there as well. So just an example of what we see with the VVT Hemis. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments.